What's going on guys, Alger Anastasio here with FlightPath.com. Now to round out the modes on the new Focus Track on the Mavic 3, I've already talked about Active Track as well as Spotlight. If you guys haven't seen those, make sure you check the links above as well as down below in the video description. The last one that I haven't gone through is this one right here, Point of Interest. And if you guys have seen or used Point of Interest on DJI drones before, this will all be familiar with you guys, but if the Mavic 3 is your first drone and you haven't flown a DJI system in the past, this might be a little bit new to you, so I just wanted to show you Point of Interest on the DJI Mavic 3. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Alger Anastasio. I do a lot of drone tech tips, tutorials, and product reviews right here on this channel. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing and also hitting that bell to be notified when I post new videos. Now, like I mentioned, Focus Track contains three different modes, Active Track, Spotlight, as well as Point of Interest. In this video, let's go through Point of Interest. And for you to activate Focus Track, you gotta get the drone up in the air. So let's take this thing up. If those aren't familiar with point of interest, basically what it allows you to do is do a full orbit around a subject. It could be a person, a building, anything that you're selecting here on screen, it'll then mark that point or mark that person. And then you can do an orbit around it in either direction. And you can also choose the speed that you want to be able to go around. Now, the one thing I did notice with focus track, as well as all the other ones, the active track and the spotlight is that you're not able to use 5K on these types of intelligent modes, you're only able to go up to 4K at 60 frames a second. Also, when it comes to some of the profiles, you're not able to shoot in D-Log, so you're not able to have some of these settings that you would normally, so when you are using something like Focus Track, you have some limitations there. Now, I'm actually here at a football field near my place, and what I wanna do is actually select the center of the football field as my point of interest. And what you wanna do, first of all, is make sure that there's not any tall trees or anything that's gonna be in your way because even though they have obstacle avoidance on it, you still wanna be as safe as possible. So look around, see if there's any power lines, any uh, taller trees, there are some pretty high trees over here. So you always wanna make sure that your drone is higher than all of those objects. And I am shooting at 4K at 60. That's the highest frame rate you could shoot at as far as the focus track modes. So I'm gonna shoot at 4K at 60. My white balance, let's uh, set this 55. Looks pretty good for white balance. So I will lock that in there. I do want to have a double my frame rate. So I'm gonna go my shutter speed, set that at 120. And that looks pretty good there. Bring that up to about 200, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now we are locked in as far as the settings go. So now that when the drone is going around in a circle, ideally my settings should be all locked in there so you're not gonna see any fluctuation as far as my exposure goes. All right, with my exposure all set up, what I'm gonna do is now draw on the screen a box around the middle of the field, just like that. And right by default, it puts you into spotlight, but what I wanna do is point of interest. So I'm gonna hit point of interest, and then I'm gonna hit go. And this one is gonna take me uh, to the right. So what I'm gonna do now is adjust that. And you can adjust the speed by that little arrow here. Right now it's going at the slowest it can go. Make sure I hit record. It's going at slow, uh, a really slow speed right now. I can actually increase the speed by pushing that towards the right. And the thing is right now, because I'm in point of interest, it's just getting the center of the field. But if I want to adjust the gimbal camera angle, I'm able to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the camera down or adjust the camera gimbal down. So I want that center to be the center of my screen. And there you go. So what is happening right now, like I mentioned, it is gonna go all the way around. And what's great about it is that if I want to adjust it, I wanna go a little bit further away, I can actually pull it back just a little bit. As you can see, it's pulling back. And if I wanna go a little bit higher because there's some tree lines here, let's go a little bit higher. And when you do that, it does create a little bit more dynamic movement, which is really, really nice. And if you wanna create a little bit more dynamic movement, you wanna go a little bit faster. Let me increase the speed just like this. And the one thing that's great about the Mavic 3, it does have a pretty good speed on it, even in some of the intelligent flight modes. So really cool looking shot here with some shadows in the back. All right, so I have it at full speed right now. It's going about 28 miles an hour. And I'll just let this thing run, do a couple laps around it just to make sure I have everything in there. And I already have one that's a little bit further away. So I'll do one that's a little bit further away. And then I'll also do one that's a little bit lower and a little bit closer. Next, what I wanna try doing is seeing if I can go more of a top-down shot 
and I'm going to bring up my ISO a little bit, it's getting a little bit dark. I want to see if I can go more of a top down point of interest. Let me circle that M right here in the middle. There it is, point of interest that. And let's go the other way this time. And I want to see how much, how close I can do, almost looking straight down, because it might be a pretty cool shot this way. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's really cool. And here I am testing it out, point of interest, same thing, but I'm above the subject. And I really like this one because this type of perspective is a little bit different. So now you can kind of cut these into multiple shots. So you have the wide view, you have a little bit of a tighter view here. So I think experimenting with different angles and point of interest will give you a bunch of variety, you know, just a variety of shots for you to use. All right, so the only thing I want to do now is see if I can do point of interest on a moving subject, which would just be myself. Uh, what I want to do is select me. So let's see here, select me. And there you go. What I want to do is make sure I'm also higher than any of the trees here, or else I don't want to run right into the trees. So let's go a little bit higher here. Bring it back. And let's see if I bring this back even further. Got some power lines over here. Okay, now hit point of interest. Hit point of interest and let's take it nice and slow because I don't know what's gonna happen yet. And what I wanna do is actually start walking and let's see what happens if I just walk and do point of interest. All right, well, so far so good. Looks like it is following me as I'm walking. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed it up because in order for it to get in front of me, uh, it's, gotta, it's, gotta, it's gotta make some moves. Oop, lost me on the trees. It lost me on the trees. All right, so here we go. We have point of interest. And what I want to do is actually make this thing go a little bit quicker because if I'm walking, it needs to be able to keep up with me or at least ahead of me. So I do need to put it in a faster mode. All right, I'm behind some trees. Let's see if it can find me. Oh, it lost me there. Let's see if it can find me again. Oh, it found me after the trees. That's pretty good. Okay, so we are still going. See how well it'll track me getting lost in some of the artwork down there. All right, still tracking me. And the thing that's cool is that I'm just walking and it's gonna ideally keep making some circles around me. Let's go even quicker. It's got some trees here, wonder if it's gonna lose me or not. Well didn't lose me because I was able to open up. All right, so it does track you if you're just walking and doing a point of interest. The thing is you need to bump that speed up to fast because it needs to be able to catch up to the subject, which is me. So there you go. Using point of interest works. What you need to do is just make sure that the uh, tracking is labeling you correctly. So it has me as a person on there. And what I'm gonna do now is just walk over here. And let me just do a quick jog and see if it's able to at least keep up with the jog. Well, still can keep up with the jog, little jog. All right, so when it comes to point of interest, it looks like it is able to track the subject. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It'll then make a pin of where that location is and do the circle around it. Uh, I did do one where I'm just walking, and if you are walking at pretty much at that slow speed and you put the drone into the fast mode or basically the quickest speed for it to continuously go around, it should be fine. It'll then catch up to you do the circle around it. However, when you do a couple things here, when you're jogging or you're doing something that's moving, the thing is for it to continuously try to be in front of you, if you're going too fast, then it, it's not able to make that turn, that point of interest turn. 
and it'll start to lose you because it'll just start looking down and ideally it's still trying to make that circle. So from what I tested a few times here, it was able to track me if I'm just walking, but once you outpace the circle, then it starts to lose you. I'm gonna continue testing out the point of interest, the spotlight and the active track and give you guys a little bit more of an update after I just run through a bunch of different scenarios with it. As always, if you guys got some value from this video, don't forget to hit that like button and also don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. This is also Astacio with flightpath.com. I'll see you guys next video. Take care.